What is up, my friends? It's Edward Tomaloso, Internet Sales Manager here at Honda of Santa Maria, your Honda man. And today I have the 2016 Honda Civic Sedan LX. <music> reason I'm doing this video is because I feel this car does not get enough love and by this car I mean this specific trim level. This is the most entry level or base model on the Honda Civic but I feel like the Civic has taken that base model to a whole new level. So follow me, check out the features and how I feel about this car. So let's start with the redesign of the Civic. This is indeed the 10th generation for the Honda Civic. And as the ninth generation was coming out, the designers definitely wanted to start from the ground up and they definitely accomplished a great, great style. The lines on this car definitely lead your eye around the car. The lines connect and I really like this flat hood. I love what they did with the wraparound chrome with the headlights you do get led daytime running lights makes this car really stand out and pop even in daytime situations going back to those body lines there are two pronounced body lines on the side of the car you will notice there is one up top starting from the grill kind of fades towards the fender and then continues all the way back i really like the unity that this one line creates through the whole car it definitely gives it a complete feel and then on the bottom you have a more of an angled cut going down towards the bottom of the car and that does highlight the wheels on the lx trim you do get steel wheels with the wheel covers again since this is the base model or the most standard slash entry level you're not going to get the alloy wheels you will get the alloy wheels on the next trim levels up which would be the ex and the ext moving along onto the back of the civic lx you will still notice the bold lines definitely is unmistakable when you are driving behind it. One thing I will note is even if this is the most entry level, it still gives you LED taillights. Biggest benefit to you is the bulbs last a lot longer and they are brighter. Another thing I will mention that is notable on the Honda Civic LX is the body colored side mirrors as well as the body colored door poles. A lot of other manufacturers when they do make an entry level car, they will make them just matte black. As we transition into the interior, let me just talk about a couple specs. This car does have a two liter engine, puts out 158 horsepower, which replaces the old 1.8 liter that crunched out 143 horsepower. With that power plant, you do get 41 miles per gallon on the highway and 31 in the city. This engine is paired to a CVT transmission, which is very responsive. Also, before we go into the vehicle, one thing I didn't mention yet, but I could have earlier, is that this car is priced at $20,275. Now let's go inside and see what else this car has to offer. Again, even if this is the most entry level Civic, it definitely doesn't feel like it from the inside. Let's start with the features that normally aren't something that you would consider a base model feature. First off, this car does have a backup camera. You do have three different views on that backup camera. As soon as you put it in reverse, you do get a normal view, uh, a wide angle, and a top-down view. Very, very useful settings. It does display on this 5-inch display here. The car also has Bluetooth with capabilities of pairing with Pandora or any other things uh, that could be playing on your device. You can listen to your audiobooks, you can listen to your podcasts, you can listen to your Spotify if you wanted. Another thing that comes on this car that isn't normally a base model feature is you do have auto climate control. You can actually set your temperature and the fan speed will change uh, as well as the temperature settings just to keep it at the exact temperature that you set. That is so awesome. Another thing that this car has that I wouldn't consider a base model feature is you do have auto up and down windows. Give it one good push, it comes all the way down. Give it one good pull and it goes all the way up. And that is actually on the driver's side and the passenger side. So to me, that is a very convenient feature. Overall, just the layout of the car itself feels really good to me. If you saw my last video, I 
did buy one myself. I got the EXL level, just a lot more features. But again, this is a great value for the price that you are paying for it. Looking down here, you still have that same cable management system, so your cords aren't all over the place. Definitely ample room in terms of storage here with a removable cup holder so you can utilize all the space down there. Also, one thing that is notable that I wanted to mention on the dials, your cruise control and your audio and your Bluetooth functions are actually not just painted on the exterior where your little icons are. It's actually beneath this sort of a acrylic type material. So over time, in terms of longevity, you're not gonna wear out these buttons to the point where you can't even tell what the buttons mean anymore. So that's one thing that I like in terms of Honda thinking of longevity of the vehicle. The display is still really nice. You do have a digital speedometer as well as your average miles per gallon, real time miles per gallon as well. Uh, in terms of the materials used, uh, it is the same throughout the levels in terms of the metal type finish right here as well as the soft touch materials on the dashboard. Another feature I feel that isn't base is you do have that brake hold assist. Essentially what that does is it's like cruise control for your brake. It's always, you could always set it as on. As soon as you come to a complete stop, it'll hold it for you to where you can take your foot off the brakes. As soon as, let's say the light turns green, you can just put your foot on the gas pedal and go. You do have an electronic parking brake as well as an econ button. That's just a mode of driving, essentially. The engine and transmission as well as the whole system of the car in terms of air conditioning, just work together to maximize that fuel economy. The previous generation would report about a mile or two more per gallon. It just depends on how you drive. While I'm sitting in here though, I did wanna mention another non-base feature that I feel this Civic has is you do have a capless fuel filler. Super cool, keeps your paint from getting all scratched up if your cap was dangling there, so you no longer have that. Another benefit is you can't accidentally tighten your cap to where it's too loose, where it sets your check engine light. In terms of safety, really briefly, this is expected to get five-star crash test ratings as well as the top safety pick plus, just like the previous generation did. In terms of comfort, this car does not have power seats. The power seats come standard on the EXL trims and above. However, I would say even the settings in terms of the bolstering, the support on your lower back, all of it feels really comfortable. The headrests are not in an awkward position or anything. Definitely a car that I could take a long drive in. You also still have your tilt and telescopic steering wheel on the car as well. So you can find your optimal position because you know posture is really good, especially if you are uh, driving long distances. One comment that I get a lot, especially from my customers that are coming from other manufacturers, is that the steering wheel is small. And that's one of the things that I like. It's just easier to maneuver. You don't have to really do the hand over hand thing. I really think it gives it a sporty feel. The cloth in here seems really, really durable. Uh, this specific car is in the rally red color, and that does give you the option of the black interior. And I really think it gives it a really nice look with this uh, different type of stitching just to give you a bit of contrast and it does feel like it'll last a long time. That was my quick review or overview of a car again that does not get much love especially on YouTube you'll watch a lot of these car reviews and they're all on the touring or EXL trims I'm a part of that but I wanted to show you what the LX or entry level gives you for your hard-earned money and that's what I like doing with these reviews is I like to be able to show consumers what you get for your hard-earned dollars. So hopefully this helped you if you are looking at getting an LX model. Actually most people are looking at this model in terms of a nice commuter that will perform and be dependable and hold its resale value in the long run. Again, hope this helped you. Thank you for checking out this review. If you liked it, definitely like, comment, subscribe. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, and if you are looking to purchase a vehicle, definitely look me up if you live on the central coast of California. If you live farther than that, I can't really help you too much. But I, again, I do sell cars, so I do appreciate it if you come look me up if you are in my area. Also, thank you Honda of Santa Maria for allowing me employment as well as letting me do reviews like this. So anyway guys, thanks again. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.